Your Excellency, first and foremost, I want to congratulate you and to thank you. Vile umeshikilia mambo ya wakulima. 70% ya wakenya wengi wote wanakaa kwa mashamba na hiyo mambo ya ukulima umeishikilia kwa dhati. Mambo ya fertilizer, subsidies, mambo ya coffee reforms, Mambo ya tea reforms, mambo ya macadamia, mambo ya kushikilia mpaka wakulima wa avocado, I want to congratulate you for what you have done. We have a lot of confidence. Kabla huja ingia kwa serikali, mambo ya wawa wakulima walikuwa wame, wame give up. Lakini sasa umewapatia hope ya kwamba wataweka shiringi kwa mfuko. Your Excellency, first and foremost, I want to congratulate you and to thank you vile umeshikilia mambo ya wakulima 70% ya wakenya wengi wote wanakaa kwa mashamba na hiyo mambo ya ukulima umeishikilia kwa dhati mambo ya fertilizer subsidies mambo ya coffee reforms mambo ya tea reforms mambo ya macadamia Mambo ya kushikilia mpaka wakulima wa avocado, I want to congratulate you for what you have done. We have a lot of confidence. Kabla huja ingia kwa serikali, mambo ya wawa wakulima walikuwa wame, wame give up. Lakini sasa, umewapatia hope ya kwamba wataweka shiringi kwa mfuko. kama hali hapa ikiwa ni uzunduzi wa kampuni hii ya kahawa na haswa kusherekea ratba tofauti si hapa moranga tu tunazindua kampuni kama hii lakini kutoka EGH Brigadi Gashagwa your excellency nabo maua the MCA uh, our farmers our growers observed today is a great day why do i say first to form a commission to find out from the farmers what is this that they cry? What was taken back to His Excellency? Two pertinent questions. question was how can the COP, Honorable Samuel Ruto, also with the heart of the farmers, and aggregate all the coffee in Morana County? Their greatest need is for the coffee to be processed very fast. So, the cooperative societies, that is the cry. How can we increase capacity for this? As the chairman of the National Steering Committee, the subsector in our county and by extension in Muranga County is the 
parliament. And at that point, I honor, I mean, I and with the transparency in the late 20 reforms. Now, the Ricardi, you know, we took a year earlier. We agree inefficient marketing linkages to for direct sales. Is your name where Tanisha went to an AC? Yes, I gave you Tikia Barian and Yako Gere or Nigga the Yaki to show him who they need. Maybe she need to remember what they need. To take a very short time. To agree you should get over to the over a vision of calling. There is a Mautel, Natia. Your Excellency, first and foremost, I want to congratulate you and to thank you. Vile umeshikilia mambo ya wakulima. 70% ya wakenya wengi wote wanakaa kwa mashamba na hiyo mambo ya ukulima umeshikilia kwa dhati. Mambo ya fertilizer, subsidize, mambo ya coffee reforms, Mambo ya tea reforms, mambo ya macadamia, mambo ya kushikila mpaka wakulima wa avocado. I want to congratulate you for what you have done. We have a lot of confidence. Kabla huja ingia kwa serikali, mambo ya wawa wakulima walikuwa wame, wame give up. Lakini sasa umewapatia hope ya kwamba wataweka shiringi kwa mfuko. But government is going to prioritize over the next 10 years to amplify the position of innovation and knowledge. And we went ahead and did the judging in November, we did pitching during the innovation week, we celebrated with them during the uh, Jamuhuri Day around that time. And management of the data and presentation of the realities that we face um, is what the innovation agency is going to do. And your support and also taking time to support the commercialization. Um, so I'll make a short presentation largely to put this into context. Perfect sync with the bottom-up economic transformation agenda. We need to thank you most sincerely and challenge and award. And it is at that uh, event as a driver for social economic development through fostering anchored by the Kenya National Digital Transformation Healthcare Entertainment. Your Excellency, this one was awarded to us by the African Startup Ecosystem Builders mm. as the, 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 the most uh, important event of the year in Africa. Thank you. Analytics has created a crop and soil management tool that leverages on all powered satellite imagery. AI, computer version, and automated 3D technology to interpret text and speech, creating lifelike sign language aviators uh, with real-time precision. We and have now to the winner. We have the overall winner from Makueni, Bonafric Energy Limited by James Nyamai. And this is an innovative technology, addresses food security challenges by efficiently dehydrating farm products. We are having the right conversation in Kenya this time round. And I'm very happy that we have been able to demystify government and to bring government from this abstract thing to being an agency of delivering on people issues, real issues, you know, opportunities, you know, un unpacking opportunities for people to advance their knowledge, their ideas, their talents, and transiting them to opportunities, enterprises, businesses, jobs. So this is a very, I'm, I'm very proud that we are all moving in that uh, direction. I commend the ministry for leading the Presidential Innovative Challenge Awards, and I acknowledge the Kenya National Innovation Agency's efforts in implementing the 10-year master plan launched during the Kenya Innovation Week Commonwealth edition in November 2023. This plan guides our efforts in capacity development, funding access, infrastructure, and policy intervention, which 
I am very happy that uh, we will shortly be having a conversation as cabinet on how to unlock the space around giving Kenya um, the opportunity to be what we are, the best. And, and I'm very confident that uh, government is going to, we are shortly are going to apply our minds uh, and provide policy direction as cabinet on how this is going to go forward. In our plan, young people like you guys I see here are front, left, right, and center of our plan. And um, um, I want young people in Kenya to know that for the first time, we want to balance the resources that we commit for the education, training of our young people, and resources also to guarantee them that after they get out of school or college or university, we must have an equally deliberate and robust plan on how they are going to get jobs, they are going to get opportunities to contribute meaningfully to the development of our country. I think it is not, it is not responsible for me who preside over the affairs of our country, for me to look at we're spending 650 billion Kenya shillings every year for the training, education of our young people. We must equally be deliberate on programs, initiatives, interventions on how these 650 billion shillings we spend how does it inform the next phase of our economy? How do we make sure the product of the 650 billion shillings we spend every year have an opportunity to meaningfully contribute by having a clear plan on how to create jobs? I urge all our partners to join us in expanding this program, enabling more youth and innovators to participate and benefit. With increased collaboration with the private sector and development partners, we can propel our innovation ecosystem forward by providing valuable mentorship and experiences for our young people and giving examples of how these can be monetized in a meaningful, impactful way. Looking ahead, I anticipate the annual celebration and graduation of the most promising innovators and startups in Kenya Innovation Week, at the Kenya Innovation Week. However, we must also address critical areas within the Innovation Master Plan, such as the Startup Bill, which is instrumental in creating an enabling environment for innovation to flourish, and I am confident that the stakeholder engagement that is uh, um, being carried out is paramount in ensuring that this proposed legislation reflects the diverse perspectives of our society. Congratulations to all of you. I wish you well in your uh, creativity. We have a, a, a great country. I am very proud to be a leader in Kenya because it is very good <laughs> to lead people who know what they want and they know how to get it. And all they need is just a little guidance, a little support, and they will do their thing and they will get this country great. That's why I am very proud that um, we are all moving together. We just signed the, the housing bill in, into law. And you know, God has a way of doing things. The piece of legislation we passed today is even better than the one we envisaged earlier. So those who went to court thinking that they will stop this, they have only helped us to make it better. <laughs> so sometimes I think God uses your adversaries to work for you. <laughs> eh? He causes your adversaries to work for you. So this is great. We have. Um, uh, in this bill of today, we, we have a, a, a better ecosystem to work in. We have 
um, improved on the architecture of delivery of the housing bill. We have improved on uh, the level of funding uh, because more people have been brought into the, into the net to contribute to the housing levy. And uh, those who went to court thought they were going to reduce or to eliminate the housing levy. All they did was to enhance it and to increase it. What a blessing.